Attorney General William Barr expected to face questions about his letter summarizing the Mueller report during his congressional testimony. That is scheduled for this upcoming Tuesday. This is Democrats on the House Judiciary Committee vote to subpoena the actual full report, along with the underlying evidence that goes along with it. Joining me right now is a member of that committee, Republican Congressman from Louisiana, Mike Johnson. He is also chairman of the Republican Study Committee and a former constitutional law attorney. Sir, it is an honor to have you here this morning. Thanks so much for talking to us. You are getting set for this testimony uh, of William Barr on Tuesday. This is supposed to focus on the budget, right? It is. Uh, the House Judiciary Committee has oversight over DOJ, and, and this is a, a regular uh, thing that the AG does. It comes in and talks about the budget. But I fear that this meeting may turn into a circus. Uh, our, our Democrat colleagues, as you've seen over the last several weeks, are really uh, on, a, on a tear. They, they really want to, to dig into Attorney General Barr, and they're not giving to him, I think, the respect that is due. The subpoena that they voted to, uh, to release uh, at our meeting last week was completely unnecessary. I mean, Maria, you know, the Attorney General has said that he's working diligently to release the Mueller report. The House voted 420 to zero to release that. But our understanding on the Republican side is that that would be done within the bounds of the law. That's the Attorney General's responsibility. I think he's doing that diligently, and I hope that Democrats on the House Judiciary Committee will allow him to do just that. So let's talk about that. What is in the bounds of the law? You're a former constitutional uh, lawyer. Tell us about the law as it relates to grand jury testimony. Yeah, there's the, the federal rules of criminal procedure are very specific about this. This is, this is part of the rule of law in this country is that we don't release grand jury matters. It's very sensitive information for all the obvious reasons. Now, there are exceptions to that, but you have to go to a federal court and convince a judge that, that certain portions of grand jury material is, uh, is subject for release. The House Judiciary Committee under Chairman Nadler have decided to bypass all of that. And uh, in a straight party line vote last week in our meeting, they decided uh, to issue a subpoena to Attorney General Barr to release everything, all the underlying information and everything else. We think that's a, a, a big mistake. Yeah, and, and at the end of the day, Maria, the problem here, well, look, they've weaponized the oversight responsibility of Congress. This is for pure partisan politics. And it's a, it's a Pandora's box that I think we should not be opening. Honestly, Congressman, I think the American people are sick and tired of hearing politicized, weaponized our agencies that we have uh, so much trust in or had such trust in.